bronze-like texture, and I love that. And so as I took this old painting that I didn't like before and sanded it, I started ended up with this really cool texture, the surface that I like. And I find that I like giving myself problems. Um, I have a short attention span sometimes, and I really like having the problem of a background that I have no idea what I'm going to do with it at the beginning. Um, and so I'll take, you know, different panels, and I'll spend a little time where I'm playing with it on a wall, trying to see the direction of how I like where the textures are going, how I think the figures can possibly work on top of those textures. And then I'll kind of come in and I'll use a color pencil and I'll start drawing in all of the information. Sometimes I'll totally project it and trace it, especially if I'm on a time crunch. And I'll draw like a lot of information. And sometimes, as you were kind of pointing out, but you can see that it's there. Stuff that I intentionally chose not to paint. Um, sometimes I'll have one idea of what's going to happen in a painting and everything that's going to be in there. And then as I start working, I start realizing like it doesn't need to be there. Um, every single painting, the images I find, I find them all from Facebook. Um, some of these people I know. Some of them I have no idea who they are. Some of them are friends of friends. Um, some of them, amen. I, I find them and I'm really intrigued by these photos. Sometimes I'm really intrigued by what I think is happening in that image. And I find as I'm working on them, I kind of end up putting myself into the situation a little bit. Um, I start imagining like what's going on, like what's happening, what are they talking about, like am I there with them, um, am I listening to this conversation, and I find myself now a part of a memory that I have no attachment to, uh, which is really interesting to me, like I feel like I'm in this room with all these groomsmen watching them stand around getting ready uh, for this wedding, even though I'm not there at all. Uh, so that's really interesting to me. So as I'm painting and kind of making up this dialogue in my head, I'm figuring out like what actually needs to happen in a painting. Um, and like this one, I had all kind of lofty ideas. I was going to paint everyone in. And then as I started going, I actually just really enjoyed the shape of their body. Um, I really liked that more than anything. I was so drawn to the little kid that I was like, I actually just going to leave everyone else out, just paint their bodies. But as I'm going and thinking about what these people are doing, I'm kind of making decisions on what I think is important, who I think is important, conversation between them uh, as I kind of keep going and going forward. So like most of the surfaces are old paintings that have been sanded. Uh, and then after I started running out of those, I started trying to see if I could mimic some of the similar textures myself um, through paint, sanding. Uh, some of them have actually been hit with exacto knives a little bit. Um, some of them I've discovered I can find an old painting at my old job at University of Kentucky. When we moved from one building to a next, a bunch of people just left huge pieces of masonite around. And I discovered I could just gesso over that, and I started seeing lots of really cool effects, and I just paint right back on top of it. Um, so some of them are different people. Like in that one down the end, I actually, that's one of the few, I actually know both of them. Um, and they live in Kentucky. These, this one here, there was actually a whole lot going. It's, mm -hmm. Some friends of friends of mine that actually live in the Ivory Coast. Um, I used to live with a family years ago who they're originally from Africa and they just moved back to Africa maybe two years ago. And so those are some people they know. Um, this one, I had a friend who went on a mission trip. Uh, I can't remember where she was, but she actually took that photo when she was on a mission trip one summer. And I just loved the expression of that little girl and then the girl behind. I was just drawn to the fact that they were in this order in this final and I think I know the sister of this person and I've seen them <laughs> but I've never actually had a conversation with them. Um, this one, I knew the groom and one of the groomsmen. So this is actually the groom and so I do know him and I knew one of his uh, groomsmen but everyone else didn't know him. 
and I really love the space, and so I, I'm really attracted to space sometimes when I find these images of what's going on, like can I go into that image with them? It's more fun for me when I feel I can enter in, which I do a lot. These people have no idea who they are. Um, haven't the slightest, uh, but I think that's what's fun for me with the work, is the fact that some of them I don't know, but they're putting up these really personal moments um, that I get to hijack. Um, I don't know how they feel about me hijacking them, um, but that's kind of what's really interesting about the internet is once you put it up on Facebook, like you have essentially kind of signed away your rights. It doesn't belong to you anymore. Um, and this guy, I've never met him or his wife, but I know of them. Um, no idea who those kids are. I like and that I was, was. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. I have no idea I like that. who they are. And as I was painting it, I had to remind myself to paint out the license plate because I probably should not put these people that I don't know. I shouldn't have their license plate up. If I'm going to steal, I should at least be kind of considerate to not put their business all out in the public. I went to high school with a girl in the middle. And I don't know, I just, I loved that image when I found it. Um, so I grew up in Kentucky, and the Kentucky Derby is really important in Kentucky. Um, and so it's a scene from that. And there's actually, if you look up close, there's a whole other figure that was on that left side and other action that was happening. And as I was going, I actually fully intended to paint the fourth person and actually just kind of liked it the way it was. Um, I'll kind of like paint in layers and washes and you can see it in a few, especially probably in the blue one where you can kind of see where more paint starts building up from like the first layer of his face over here on the side where it's a little thinner uh, to where it starts building up as I'm figuring out 